Oops, and amongst the 10,000 tabs I have up, I do not have my notes. Let me grab it really quick. Okay. So thanks for coming to Web User Group where we talk about all things web related for Second Life. Um, if this is your first time here, I kind of go over what we have accomplished in the last month since we last had User Group. Um, talk about anything up and coming um, and then uh, open the floor for questions. So some of the things that we took care of last the, in the last 30 days. We've been doing a lot of um, a lot of upgrading, a lot of uh, internal tools work, and and some work on our payment system. Um, just going to be kind of general about that. I um, don't need to go into the specifics of those for all of you, although I'm sure you'd love to hear it, but I'm not gonna. Um, we did some uh, cleanup on the cookie footer on the web page to kind of make it smaller and kind of neaten it up a bit. It was a little bit large and a little. A little uh, messy, so we did some cleanup work on that. Um, towards the end of the month, I don't know if any of you noticed it, but we did have an issue where uh, you were buying Linden dollars. Uh, if you're using a non-US dollar currency, there was a problem with it. It would just kind of hang at one of the, the pages. Um, and we fixed that, got that fixed up pretty quick because that's important. Um, we fixed the issue with quick fill on the marketplace, not pulling the right information. Um, on the non-English language tabs for the items. That should be all working again. Um, we've added the the new uh, updated logo onto a few more uh, web pages as we go through and work on different things. We did some minor, um, minor text cleanup here and there, uh, fixed a couple of formatting errors, just some, some basic uh, cleanup work. Sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> um, and then we added some fixes for the control panels uh, for the old style or the vintage style. Um, Linden Homes, there were some issues with some of those control panels, so we went in there and cleaned those up. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's loud. She's a big dog. Um, but yeah, most of the month for the web team was spent um, in a new kind of workflow process on getting projects done, the biggest one being some updating that uh, was really needed for some of our back-end systems. And so that was the main focus for the majority of the team. It's a really large project, and we're trying to get through it uh, as quickly as we can. And so we took um, the last six weeks and had the majority of the team just focus on that, just so we could knock out a big chunk of that. So we may have some more more projects getting done um, in the next month as people get freed up from that project. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we were at for the last month. Um, let's see if there's any updates on anything else. No updates yet on any of the, the marketplace projects that we've talked about. We're getting closer to looking at variants. Um, which I know a lot of people are really interested in. Um, not that it's getting be worked on right now, but we are kind of putting that project together and kind of taking a look and seeing how that's going to look and starting to do some planning on it a little bit. So that'll be that'll be coming down the road. You know, maybe later this year we'll get started on it. Um, what else did we do? We're still doing some work on the mobile app that hasn't uh, hasn't gone out to the App Store just yet for approval, but we are still working on it, working away at it. Um, and yeah, I think that's all that we've we've done in the last month. We are getting ready for Second Life birthday, as many people are. Um, the there's going to be some new last names. Some are going to be in in uh, reference to the theme for birthday, and some will just be some new names. We'll freshen those up a bit. Um, the birthday names, like we did last year, are going to be um, kind of limited edition. And I think last year when we did it, we left them up until December, even though they're supposed to be limited. They will actually be more limited edition this year and will be available until the end of birthday.
So haven't quite nailed down all the names for that yet. We've got a, a list that we're looking at. Um, but when we get closer to birthday time, we'll put up a blog post about it. I think that hits all of my projects. So yeah, last names. I just talked about last names. New last names at birthday time. Yeah, there'll be some that um, that reflect the theme of the birthday, and then there'll be just some some new ones that we refresh up a bit. The the limited edition birthday one, <laughs> no cake is not one. Um, <laughs> the limited edition birthday ones will probably just let just go until the end of birthday, and then we'll take those down and uh, put some newer names in their places. Cake, I don't. Have we ever used cake before? I can't remember if we have or not. Cake did not make the list, though. <laughs> we just smush all that together. Cake is a lie and make that one name. Um, Rich, you can, you can go ahead and ask questions now. I've given all my updates, so we can throw the floor open for any questions. OK. Um... So thank you for having me here. Um, I would like to know whether there are some changes with the keyword research, uh, not research, with the search uh, engine of uh, the marketplace, because I noticed a drop in uh, sales through the marketplace, and I'm wondering whether it has something to do with it. I made a test on my own, and I noticed that some of the products are not um, I'm getting displayed when I use the yeah some example words uh, I have in the in the tag uh, in each language and yeah it worked before but it's not working now. I hope hmm. it's understandable. Yeah, I don't know that we've made any changes to keyword searches recently. Yeah, uh, before I decided to have like a kind of standard in the keywords I'm using, I made a test whether it's actually being displayed with the words I, I uh, guess people would use to find my products. But yeah, and it, it worked before, but now it's not working. Do you know, do you have any idea about when that started happening or when you noticed it starting to happen? Uh, I would say at the beginning of May, some at, at that time it it uh, yeah happened that the sales dropped. I was wondering why, and then around the mid of May I noticed and I opened a ticket in the support, and they just uh, referred me to visit this group and ask here. Elusive, yeah. yes, please. Um, yeah. If you give us the information with the listings and the keywords where you're seeing this, then I and my team will investigate and see what we can find. Okay, should I give it uh, examples here in the chat or send email? Uh, use that link that Lucy just posted, jira.secondlife.com. That's our bug reporting system. Ah, okay. Um, and yep, it provide all the information you can, everything that you told us here, and any other, um, any other, th anything else you can think of to add in there that would help us investigate that. Um, you know, obviously, you know, support ticket is the right first step. Um, if they don't have any information, you know, come to us, and uh, if we don't know, then then we send you off to Jira, and so that we can dig around and try to figure out what's going. on. So I'm a bit confused. Should I already open a ticket in Jira or? Yes. Okay, so I will do that and then like appear next month again or? <laughs> yeah, so what we'll do when you when you submit that Jira ticket, we'll take a look at it um, and we'll let you know if it's something that we need to fix, if we're going to work on it um, and accept it as a bug or if there's something else going on that we find, you know, we'll let you know, you know, oh, it's this. Um, 
So, yeah, I mean, you are obviously welcome to come every month to these if you'd like. Um, or if not, you can, you know, just wait to see what happens with the JIRA that you submit. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, any updates that we make. Okay, okay, sounds great. Um, is there a kind of estimation of response time? Like, within a month I will get an answer or a day? Well, we actually go through and triage the, um, the bug tickets uh, on a regular basis, so you might see some movement on it, you might see it be accepted um, and moved into an accepted state. That means we're going to, you know, dig into it and look at it. Um, with marketplace issues such as this, if keywords aren't working, it's going to rank a little bit higher on our radar to to go and take a look at. Um, so yeah, we're, we'll probably take a look at it shortly after you submit it. So within you know, a week or two, we'll be looking at it and trying to figure out what's going on. Perfect. Sounds great. Should I also um, should I also put the link uh, from the market? No, not the market. The support ticket, the the first one. You can, so but can... it's not necessary. It'll okay. be okay, and you know, unless there's information in that ticket that um, would be helpful, or you could just copy it from the ticket into the Jira ticket. Yes. Okay. Great. Yep. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Questions, comments, concerns? Songs you want to sing? Oh, uh, maybe I would have another question. Um, I also experimented with the keywords and uh, I noticed that no matter in which language uh, a tab, um, I enter the words, they are all across used, um, how to say, um, if I put a word in the Spanish and another word in the English, and then I type in in the search the Spanish, the, the, the word I used in the English and Spanish at the same time, it will pop up. It was like this before. Sometimes it's also working now. Is that on purpose or? I'm not quite sure I understand what you mean. So you you have the keyword just in the one language? No, no. I use okay. uh, I use the keywords across all languages, uh, okay. mostly mostly in English. So I just use up the, the 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 space I have to get like to to push as much as many words as uh, possible in. Um, yeah. So and they work. Um, uh, what to say? <laughs> um, they all work together as uh, like one field in the search. Is it understandable? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure. Does anybody I'm else? I'm pretty sure that thing? is expected behavior. That the keywords that you put in work regardless of the language setting or what language the person doing the search is doing using. Okay, perfect. Maybe uh, you would have some questions to the creators, like in the way we use uh, the marketplace, maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, I sometimes come with questions for everybody. I didn't this time. I came unprepared today. Uh, it was kind of a crazy day. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see if I can think of something. Would be interesting. <laughs> I think last week we talked about profiles. Went to get cookies. What kind of cookies? And yes, did you bring some for everybody? <laughs> Hmm. 
Uh, one other thing that we're looking at doing is potentially adding some new categories into Marketplace as well. That's kind of an ongoing project right now. Um, we're gathering lots of different, uh, different categories, so you may see some pop up at some point over the last next, oh, probably next three months or so. Ah, uh, I would like to know whether the, there are some plans to modernize the marketplace in, term, in terms of uh, how um, users, I mean the um, content creators are using it in order to fill the info uh, in each listing to make it more easy and, and quick. I don't know that I've seen that particular ask come across, um, but if there's a particular, um, you know, flow that you would like to see, then um, you can actually submit it through JIRA as well as a feature request, and we can take a look at that, and if it's something that we think should be integrated, we can add that into one of our other projects that we're going to be doing for Marketplace. Okay, so the requests that are done there are not, um, I mean, the decision uh, to, to work on a feature is not based on popularity, but more on, like, whether it makes sense. Right? Yeah, we, we try to weigh a lot of things, you know, what, you know, the merchants would like to, hit to see happen, what, you know, the, the buyers would like to see happen, what, is logical to happen in, in a particular flow. Um, so yeah, there's we have a lot. We we take a lot into consideration as we're going through and making changes. Okay. But we we do rely on you all for feature requests and things that you would like to see. Um, sometimes if it's if it's something we're not sure of, I'll bring it up here and say, hey, you know, what do you guys think of this feature? Would this be useful? Um, but yeah, we we. Kind of take a look at at it from lots of different angles when we decide to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just noticed that I do a lot of repeating things, and uh, it would be nice if there will be like some kind of um, way of uh, get the data um, faster. For example, if I add a image. Um, I add it once and then the field of adding another image after uh, a short time just disappears and I have to click again on adding image. Of course, if I'm fast enough on clicking on the add image button, um, then I have enough time, but if not, for example, I would like to um, upload several images at once, but I only can upload one by one. This will be, for example, a feature request. Yeah, absolutely. Multi-image upload. Yeah, that would be a good request. Or a dynamic, um, dynamic, uh, how to say, info or content, um, dynamic data. For example, if I have some keywords I would like to use across all uh, products, and for some reason I noticed after like six months that this keyword is not kind of not performing for me. Uh, I think there are also no analytics in uh, in the marketplace to see what keyword is actually used most. But let's say just by feeling, I would like to change that keyword. Or I noticed a uh, um, how to say writing mistake, and I already applied this keyword to like hundreds of products. And changing this will be a nightmare. But if this is like a dynamic keyword that is linked to like a, I, I don't know, like in a database and I just change this and it will change everywhere where this uh, uh, keyword is used, for example. Right, yeah, I would, I would include all of that in the, the JIRA uh, with the request. Mm -hmm. And we can take a look at it. Yeah, as far as analytics goes, 
yeah, unfortunately, you know, people, there would be a large population that would use that, you know, to their advantage, which you can't really blame them, right? <laughs> but we try mm -hmm. to keep things on a, a fair playing field for, the, for all of our merchants. So there's just some information that we don't make public. Mm -hmm. Find and replace on multiple listings. Mm -hmm. We can take a look at the, the feasibility of doing something like that for sure. Ah, another question. If uh, I sort um, listings like uh, products by relevance, I'm not sure how how that actually work. How the al algorithm works? Um, I just noticed like every month it somehow change. Um, so is it like on the first that, for example, like the, the the best selling products? Is it like month by month and it reset and recalculate? Um, on the first every of every month. I'm not exactly sure of that, Spidey. Do you know? Uh, what was the question? Sorry, I someone asked me a question, so I was distracted. If I try to sort products on the marketplace uh, based by relevance or b by um, best selling product. Um, and yeah, it, it somehow every month is different. So, I, of course, like every product is selling every month differently, but sometimes the the change is very huge, especially on my own. Uh, um, um, how to say on my own products? I I know the, the I know the numbers. I use like for example, Casper vend vendors. And I have the analytics there, so it's sometimes strange that the products are not, um, um, how to say, not always uh, listed uh, based on the statistics I have. It's, it's somehow differently. Or if I just uh, search in general, like the, the product is jumping on the rank sometimes very strongly. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's indexed across all listings, so it's not just your own. I mean, it is, it, I think that it sounds like expected. Again, if you think that there is a, a bug there, then I would say file a, a JIRA and we can look into it, but that sounds to me like it's expected behavior. Okay. Um, okay, Steffi had a question. So are you looking for, yeah, oh, I was going to get to that too. Are you, were you just, Steffi, were you looking for like a group in world? Yeah, there's a, there's another meeting. There's a content creators meeting. Um, or otherwise, you know, JIRA is, is the best place to send in um, you know, feature requests, changes to, um, to the system or anything or any bugs as well. We're actually quite active 
in world we're we've actually been really busy um <laughs> the last for the last year um uh, just availability um well yeah it's you know it's kind of hard to get to get in world all the time um we do as much as we can um but yeah in terms of you know send, sending up ideas or asking for changes jira still is the best way for us to hear from everybody with what they want what they'd like to see change or what's not working for them but you know in, in world groups they're kind of you know limited you only have so many you can have um as well as you know chats kind of difficult to convey um, all of these complex ideas for, for different changes and everything. Yeah, getting us to get in and comment in groups, it's just, it's really difficult <laughs> just because of how much we're, we're doing on the outside as well. But yeah, Jira's, Jira's the best place to get, get info to us. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. That's, that's why we have JIRA. Uh, we have the feature request option for JIRA so that we can get those those ideas and hear from people who aren't able to make it into, into the different uh, in-world meetings with us. We do read those. We go through feature requests uh, every week. Um, we go through and read um, bug requests or bug reports and all of that so they don't they don't get lost anywhere they do get read Yep, and I appreciate it. Um, appreciate hearing from you. But you know, we we can't unfortunately be everywhere at once. But Jira, like I said, is the best place to send in ideas and and uh, you know provide feedback. Um, Paul, seeing you had a question about Linden Homes. Yeah, that's going to be, you know, I mean, I can, the only thing I'd be able to say is send in support ticket or um, talk to governance about that particular issue. Unfortunately, I don't have any control of, over anything like that. Thanks, Lucy. Yeah, the media thing on Linden Homes, that's a new one on me. I hadn't heard about that.
Okay, I may have been speaking with my mute button on. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, jump linden homes to get a better location or get a different home, especially with the newer ones. Yeah, but when they abandon the parcel, everything, all the settings are supposed to reset when the parcels get abandoned. Okay. Well, I can take it over to the land team and just kind of let them know that that's an issue. Like I said, unfortunately, it's not something I have control over, but I can mention it to them uh, and let them know. 2FA is actually something that we are um, looking at. So, coming soon. Um, I do not know. <laughs> That's somebody else's project, but I know that it's something that we are starting to look into. But I'm not sure if we have a vendor. Um, I don't know yet because they're still in the planning phases with our security team. So when that's all available, we'll let you guys know. Um, no, let me see, let me see if I can find out anything on that while we're sitting here. Yeah, my skilled gaming specialist is out right now, so I probably won't get a response, but I know it's in the works. We've been talking about doing that for a while. All right, since you said her name, yes, Corky. <laughs> yeah, she's out uh, this all of this week. Actually, I have somebody else I can poke while we're in here. I'll see if they know.
Unfortunately, no. Nothing recent on Premium Plus, Premium Plus. Um, hasn't been scrapped yet, so it is still a possibility. We're still thinking about it. <laughs> I wanted to abolish that a long time ago. I hate saying it. <laughs> Premium Plus. Oh, good night, Rich. Thanks for coming. Um, but Premium Plus is still, it's still kind of hanging out there. We're probably going to be revisiting it, revisiting it here in the next couple of months. Um, not sure what the status of it is, though. Um, we have one who's who's very involved and one who's a little bit more hands off. Um, I'm not sure if during the birthday there's going to be some more activity. I'm not sure if there's going to be, you know, we always have the kind of the, the meet the Lindens meetings around birthday times. Um, you might get a peek at him at one of those. I'm not saying for sure you will, but. Um, he might show up there. <laughs> Meet the overlords. <laughs> yeah, we had a blog post about it a while ago. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, that was our, our release about it. <laughs> Chicken. That was my dog yelping. <laughs> um, talk about offering large scripts or grid scope experience. Grid scope is still under consideration. We are still thinking that particular aspect through. So not a whole lot of movement on that yet. Um, large scripts, no. Large scripts has not been on my radar. We've been, we've been looking at a lot of different things, especially um, after moving to AWS. Um, we still have some fine tuning we're doing to some of our processes, so we haven't done a lot of research into you know anything anything else that we can offer um, being up in the cloud now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's something that we're thinking of, and you know we're going to look at all all angles of it first before we come up with a, a decision on it. Add the build and the map button so the toolbar buttons as default. The tool, yeah, you can add, you can add buttons over on your toolbar anytime. I think 
includes cost proposals. <laughs> Yeah, we did. We did accept yours. So yeah, it's yours is actually one of the ones that we are uh, considering as we go through the possibilities on grid scope. Uh, Jeb Jeb, all I can do is direct you to that particular page. So if there's any new info, they'll update that page. Sorry. <laughs> Free picks in world. That hasn't been on the radar yet. I haven't. That's not something that I've been in discussions on. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to suggest it, that would be good JIRA material as well. I mean, we don't typically look at ways to, you know, lower income, but there's certainly, there have been times when we have lowered prices on some things um, just because it made sense to, so. Definitely look into it. That's very true, Steffi. But yeah, definitely, you know, send it in and we'll take a look at it. Um, policy and YouTube page, gain traffic, an in-world alert system. Mm. We've, we've considered using in-world alert systems for different things. Um, we've kind of kicked that out because we don't want to interrupt people's experiences in Second Life by having an alert system. Um, doing something with events was uh, one of the ideas that we had come up with um, and having event alerts via the web um, and also integrating those to people's, oh, I don't know, Google calendars or, you know, cell phone calendars, things like that, having the option to do something like that. So, Having having an alert system in world, we are probably not going to do, but we are looking at maybe leveraging the event system and making that a little bit more, you know, functional and having some alerts come through there. Right, have a Second Life calendar that you might be able to integrate with, you know, your own personal calendar. Yep, something like that. Yeah, the idea, one of the ideas that we had was, uh, you know, being able to follow, you know, like your favorite musician or performer or, uh, I don't know, content creator um, and getting alerts when they have particular events going on, um, you know, and following them and signing up to get events, uh, Lyndon. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, being able to follow them that way, just like you do on other social media, right, where you see the different things that those people that you're following are doing. Um, that's off in the distance, 
but that is one of the things that we're looking for the next time we go back and do a project that involves events. <laughs> I was just going to kind of tease that a little bit because that's one of my projects is the new user experience. And I want to tell you everything, but I can't yet. <laughs> but I will tell you that if you like to use our project or testing viewers, there is a new one out over there that has uh, some of the features in it for our new user experience. Um, Pulsian, not that I'm aware of, Blender Overlay. It, it, it does. It has, it has one, one change in it. But it's still being worked on. We um, we still have some work to do. Yes, they did. And in fact, if you use that viewer, it will pop something up for you. Or, well, you won't pop up something up for you yet. You would have to click on it to bring it up. Um, not that everyone can see yet. So it's, it's not going to pop up. It'll, it'll be kind of an automatic pop up, but it's not doing that for everybody just yet. In world tool to convert prims to mesh. I'm sure at one point that was talked about, but I haven't been on any of those conversations. Um, what did I say no to? Which one did I say no to? The blender overlay? Um, just because I, there, we don't have any plans on doing that. The question was, are there any plans to bring in a, in world of blender overlay? Um, we aren't planning on doing that right now. It's not something on our radar just yet. Yeah, Pulsi, and there's a setting in preferences that does that. Let me go find it. Do, do, do. Okay, so in preferences on the setup tab, the third section down, software updates. You can choose to install automatically, to ask when an optional update is ready to install, or install only mandatory updates. Yeah, if there's a mandatory update, it's going to update it for you. Meaning there's, there is some functionality in there, or we have deprecated something in the old viewer that's no longer supported, and so that one goes away and you have to update to the, the mandatory update. Um, the world alert system, it's, it's just not something that's on our radar to do. Um, I'm sure we've had a request to do something like that in the past, and we have decided not to, but that hasn't been while I've been here, so I can't tell you, you know, exactly why we, we didn't decide to go that way. Um, one of it was just to, to not have, not to be that invasive. I mean, yes, you could opt to, um, to not receive those alerts, but 
it hasn't been something that we thought was going to be useful and wildly accepted. Yeah, but I think the the world notification thing would be like for for Linden to send out notifications, as opposed to residents sending out notifi notifications. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> having that available to everybody. But, you know, like I've said several times today, if that's, you know, if the in-world alert system is something that you think is, would be valuable and has, um, you know, some real applications that you would find useful, definitely send in a, a feature request for it. Okay, we have two minutes left. What is that special? Yeah. So we do have an old um, alert system that we used to use way back in the day when the entire grid would go down for updates. Nowadays, we just have rolling restarts. So we tell you, you know, hey, you may want to jump to a different region. We're going to restart this region. Um, but way back, we used to actually take the grid offline to do updates. And there we used to send out messages to everybody who was in world. Um, that the grid was going down in five minutes. So there is there is kind of a rudimentary system there. It hasn't been touched in ages because we don't use it anymore. Um, but there is there is something like that. Oh no, I hated it the old way because you never knew how long you were going to be offline. It might be a half hour. It might be hours. You never knew. I could never go do anything else. I'd have to sit there and wait for it to come back up. What if it was only 20 minutes offline and then it could get back in? <laughs> I'm a little less hardcore now. Back, back then I was more hardcore. Uh, premium... Beta test grid, yeah. Beta the beta grid has a has some issues right now that we're we're looking at. Um, I don't have any information on resolution for those though. Premium Plus include Linden Home Office, so users can go there and work. Um, well, premium accounts have the option to have a Linden Home, but if you're talking about having a Linden Home Office over on 
um, the beta grid, then that's not something that we're going to be doing. We keep we keep the functional Linden homes just on the main grid, not on beta grid. Not everything that's in um, the main grid is in the beta grid either. Is this from the Linden Home to Special Test Grid private region? Home office test grid sandwiches. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, we have, there's there's lots of public sandboxes. Um, there used to be some that hardly had anybody around or hard, even didn't have people on them. You kind of have to go around and take a look and see. You could create a platform, go up in the, up in the sky. Of course, people might follow you up there, but... Um, Yeah. Um, Jub Dub, I will see if I can give you an update for the next meeting. Yes. I shall make a note right here. Okay, yep, we're over time um, to the Blake C. Um, I'm not sure what the what the plan is with Blake C right now. The focus has been on the new Belisaria, um continent and all the new Linden homes. But I don't believe there's a plan right now to add to Blake C, at least not Linden-owned regions. Um, and even private regions are pretty restricted from being added to the Blake Sea. So I don't, I don't think there's a plan to right now. Zendra, yeah. Yeah, there's a little, and land, land team handles that. Um, but yeah, they, they know. <laughs> they know about that little Zenda drop off point. For sure. Okay, well, thanks for coming, everybody. It was good seeing you all. Yeah, road to nowhere. <laughs> um, thanks for coming. We'll see you next month, and hopefully I'll have a little bit more info for you. Bye.